Hey, what's going on guys? This is Will. I'm back again with a quick movie review. This time we're going to look at Pacific Rim Uprising. This one stars John Boyega and is the sequel to 2013's Pacific Rim. Now the movie picks up 10 years after the original events of the first Pacific Rim, whereas there has been no kaiju attacks and the world has been able to rebuild a little bit from all the years of of war and fighting and devastation. We get our main lead, John Boyega's character, who plays Jake Pentecost, who is the son of Idris Elba's character from the, fil from the first film. Now, he's brought in to help assist with some new program of, of new younger pilots being trained, as well as potential for that program becoming obsolete, where an event takes place in the film that causes a lot of mass destruction and the return of the kaiju. Plus sides of the film were definitely John Boyega. I thought his character was great. He had so much care. He had so much personality, and his performance was really good. He kind of made the movie really enjoyable because of him, his performance. In terms of a lot of supporting characters, there's not much going on with a lot of the the new recruits or even some of the returning cast. And in fact, one of them gets dispatched relatively within the first act of the film. There is a villain of the film, which is kind of a twist, which plays really well into the previous film. And also the beginning of this film gives you a lot of information, a lot of backstory. to so some of the things we had questions about from the first film about where were the kaijus coming from? Why were they being sent to earth? What was the main goal of the, the true enemies called the precursors, which I think they stole that from Assassin's Creed. Don't get me wrong. In terms of the look of the film, the, the film looked fine. I, one of the one of the uniquenesses of the first film was that because the Jaegers and the Ka especially the Jaegers, because of the machinery was so large, you felt the weight of of the machines as they moved on camera. This one, you could tell that the technology has advanced over the course of the last ten years, so they're starting to move a little quicker, a little faster. But then there's some scenes where they move slow, and other scenes where they move really fast during combat. And I'm like. Just pick one. The film also ends kind of at a weird spot where I'm like, was there an epilogue? Was there something afterwards? But they do kind of set up for a sequel. We'll see if it actually gets a sequel or not. I did enjoy the film. I thought it was a fun, it was a fun film. Besides John Boyega's character, there's not much going on with any of the extras. I would I missed some of the slower action paces from the first film. Um, but I did like the designs of some of the newer Jaegers, and you can tell they take a lot of inspiration from Mobile Suit Gundam. I hope it gets a sequel. I don't know if it really if it really does, only because John Boyega really stole the show of this film. The the female lead, she was she was pretty cool as well. She had a past similar to Mako's, who was the um, the female lead in the original Pacific Rim. I like how her past kind of mirrored hers, and how. Boyega's character kind of took her under her wing. I did enjoy that aspect of the film and her in ingenuity in the film as well. But besides that, a lot of the supporting characters, they, they're so interchangeable, it doesn't really matter. So, like, there was one death of a supporting character, and I felt absolutely nothing for it. And they really didn't pay it off by the end of the film. I will say it's an entertaining film. It's worth seeing it in theaters only because of the size of the action and the and the Jaegers and the Kaiju, but you could probably just wait for this to come out on Blu-ray. But overall, it wasn't a bad film, wasn't a great film. I still love the first Pacific Rim a little bit more, even though John Boyega, hands down, was the best part of this film. So, that was my review of Pacific Rim Uprising. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have you seen it in theaters yourself? What did you think about the film? Do you think I'm in the middle of the road like a lot of people? Haven't read, any, haven't read or seen other reviews on the film yet, so this is kind of just me being fresh. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, catch you later.